Hey everyone, today we're going to be opening up this box of 42 year old cereal. Uncle Sam cereal, a natural laxative and a good source of fiber. And at the top of it, right here, we got the Best Buy date, December 3rd, 1982. So it was probably made earlier that year, honestly. It's cereal. They usually don't have a long shelf life. Maybe the year before, maybe. But cereal doesn't have a long shelf life. Please note, shake in upside down position before serving. This assures even distribution of flaxseed inside each serving. So this is completely unopened. I've never had a box of cereal. It seems a bit small, so I'm used to big cereal boxes. So this must have been just a small one. I'm going to give you guys a look at this package, and then I can't wait to get it out onto a plate. What do you think? Is the bag inside it still going to be intact? Or is it, going to, is it so old that it's going to like shatter to gl like glass? I've opened containers that are so old, the plastic inside just shatters. But it all depends on how it was preserved. It doesn't look faded much at all, especially the back. The blue is very vibrant. So, I have good hope for this, unless bugs got into it. But I don't see many chew marks, and if I shake it, there is some dust, like little crumbs coming out of it. So, it's open somewhere. All right, everyone, here's a close-up look of this box. A natural whole grain cereal, no added sugar, no preservatives, no artificial colorings. I'm making sure everything focuses in, in case anyone's interested in pausing and reading anything on this box. Made in Nebraska. Yep. Even in the early 80s, they had barcodes. A lot of people don't believe me on that. But this is proof. The barcode was first started to be used in stores in the mid-70s. But the barcode has existed for about 100 years now. But it was originally used with railroads. Alright, I can't wait to open this thing up. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. We got a plate. Uh, these old boxes, and even new ones, they never want to open properly. But this is it's old. It's giving us a little bit of trouble. Old cardboard and paper it becomes so brittle. All right, we got it open. There's the bag. Nope, it's not deteriorated that much. I've seen things that it literally shatters. Plastic doesn't hold up very well, and even a year in the sun, direct sun, it'll make something like a milk jug shatter. I've come across that picking up garbage so many times. All right, look at this. Uh, bugs got in here, 100%. This is not going to be good. Look at this. Got a little hole right here. Got a little hole there. See how it's round? Something chewed through that. It didn't just break. Now it looks like there's bugs in the box. Nope. Not bugs. Flax seeds. That just fell through the hole. So. Let's go ahead and open this up. And we gotta look for bugs. There's something made those little holes. Now let's give it a sniff. This is a grain product, so that went rancid bad. I've never seen cereal with flax seeds in it. And just like the box said, 
They're not evenly distributed because I didn't shake it. But I'm not going to shake it a lot because it has holes in it. That's a big mound. Ew, the mustiness from this is really gross. I'm trying to get in there to give it a good sniff, but... looking around for bugs or any remnants of a bug I'm not seeing anything but there's so much of it it's unlikely I'll find it it's like a needle in a haystack looking for the little probably weevil or, or something that was in here look at that. lots of flax seeds in the center can you see that Yeah, there's definitely bugs in here. Let me give you guys a close-up look. Close-up look of this cereal. See, there's lots of flax seeds right here in the middle. Visually, it doesn't look bad to me. Maybe it's a little darker than it's supposed to be, but... I've seen cereal that's whole grain. It usually looks like that because this here... Yep, this is a natural whole grain. The cornflakes that I have that are usually white usually aren't as good for you. Isn't that how it goes? That does not smell good at all. That smells awful. Yeah, that's not good at all. I don't see any bugs at all. Like I said, it, it would be very hard to find one in this stuff because the little shells of a weevil, I'd probably mistaken it for the shells breaking off of the flax seeds or the flax seeds themselves. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I'm honestly a little bit freaked out because I know there's definitely bugs in there somewhere based on the little holes that are obviously chewed through that bag, but the good news is it tastes a lot better than it smells. When I go ahead and give it a smell, I don't smell the cardboard, I don't smell anything but somebody's house. It just smells musty, maybe even moldy, but... Tasting it wasn't even that bad. Like I said, I'm just a little grossed out because I know there's bugs mixed into that food. If it wasn't for that, if it was completely sealed, I would have swallowed all that. I'm definitely swallowing some of it. I didn't get it out of my teeth. But besides the smell, it tastes just like Raisin Bran. That whole grain chips that are mixed into it. This literally tastes like Raisin Bran. And it smells rancid. But it honestly does not taste rancid to me. I don't even have a bad aftertaste in my mouth. I can't believe it. So, over the years, the beneficial value of this has definitely degraded. Definitely. But would it keep you alive if you had to eat it? Probably. If I had to eat it, I would. It doesn't taste bad, but it sure smells bad. So we're going to go ahead and dispose of this now. All right, everyone. We just made it outside to the fire pit. Let's go ahead and feed this stuff in there. Throw it right in the middle. And now it's time to light it up. Grab our lighter.
and let the fire spread. That's gonna spread to the food fast. Today I'm trying out a diving lamp that I bought like two years ago, but the battery situation with it was inconvenient, so I finally got around to it. It also does other cool lights. Got super bright red, blue. Wow, that looks really cool with the fire, honestly. The blue. And it's also got this, it looks like police lights. That does look cool in blue. The fire's gonna make its way around in a moment. the fire progressing underneath it hasn't got very far yet this is gonna get big in a moment A lot of cardboard. The piece of cardboard that it's on is already burned through right there. Not too long until we make, we make it over here. And this box up here is just full of scrap wood. Some of which was already in a fire, but boxes aren't enough to catch it usually. But this is a lot of cardboard this time. Fire's accelerating. Getting hot. That'll be engulfed, I think, in the next minute. All that. We're going to have to start backing off, too. Got a lot of heat. It's relaxing when the highway is quiet. All I can hear is, I think, a Katie did. It's not even in the fire yet. Just other things burning. This whole thing's about to combust. Look at the smoke coming out the other side. Oh, that box is about to flip over. Full of scrap. I think this whole area is just gonna poof in a moment. product itself has yet to even touch fire. Don't even need the light anymore. We're finally starting to burn in there. The flakes are on fire.
Oh, look, there's a good view of them burning in there. Oh, now we just flipped over that box of scraps. pressure treated wood can save this one too yeah those ones there are nice those will become birdhouses A long piece of trim board Been eating a lot of waffles lately. Sometimes when you burn a lot of cardboard, the ash acts like insulation, so even when it goes out, you stir it and you'll find unburned stuff. That's why we got the big metal stick there to stir it. Just bought this water heater tray because I was gonna bring one of my massive potted tomato plants in the house, but I'm starting to rethink that because it's covered in fruit flies. I don't know, maybe I will. I got a couple days before a frost to think about it. I just bought a bug zapper, but I don't think a fruit fly is big enough to touch the terminals or does it just have to fly between it to make the arc? I don't know about that. But I got the bug zapper because of the ladybug infestation that we usually have. But this year the ladybug, they're actually Asian lady beetles. They were brought here years ago because they are they are still beneficial, although they come in big numbers. They're, they are beneficial to crops and other things because they eat aphids and mites. And they're also, they're, they're, they are beneficial. I've never got bit by one, although people say they bite. They're just in a nuisance in the house, flying around, landing in your food. N never really had a big problem with them until I realized that they leave little poop marks as they walk on the walls and ceiling. So that's why I put the bug zapper in the house. But this year, the ladybugs are not as bad as they were the past couple years. And I think it's because this year was very below normal for cold. I mean, it was a colder summer than normal, so I think that kept their population down, so there's not nearly as many coming in the house this year. And here we are about 10 minutes later. The cardboard is just about gone, unless there's some underneath there that's, like, being protected by the ash. But... The wood will probably burn for another hour, then I'll stir it around so everything else can burn away. That product is gone now. Alright everyone, I hope today's video was interesting. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.